so now we will see how the peptidoglycan layer is synthesis so this is the nam and sorry this is the n acetyl glucosamine or nag and this is the n acetyl muramic acid or nam and now we will see this is the whole peptidoglycan layer one peptidoglycan layer with the tetrapeptide attached with the nam okay and this is the another peptidoglycan layer where this is the tetrapeptide attached with the nam okay and now this tetrape this tetrapeptide and this tetrapeptide will bound to each other or crossing to each other by the enzyme that is known as transpeptidase this transpeptidase enzyme will cross link between two uh, <coughs> tetrapeptide with the pentaglycine molecule this pentaglycine molecule provide the cross linking provide the cross linking okay by pentaglycine bridge so this gives a rigid structure to the peptidoglycan layer or to the cell wall okay so now we will see how this peptidoglycan layer give a rigid structure to the cell wall so this is a whole peptidoglycan layer this is the first peptidoglycan layer and this is the tetrapeptide these are the tetrapeptide and this is the next second peptidoglycan layer and the cross linking is done by the tetrapeptides in there by the glycine penta bridge okay and the, this one is the third peptide layer and another glycine penta bridge will form and this is the fourth <coughs> peptidoglycan layer and glycine bridge is formed by the tetrapeptidase okay so in this way the peptidoglycan layer or cell wall form a compact rigid structure by the cross linking between by the cross linking through glycine penta bridge okay pentaglycine bridge okay